here comes Sheldon Cooper. He loves coming out of his house and walking around our house. Look at him strutting his stuff. He's so confident. He's just the cutest Russian tortoise. He's a juvenile Russian tortoise. He looks bigger than he is in this video. But he's about five and a half inches. And we got him a little over a year and a half ago. And whoop, we move out of his way. And when we first got him, he wasn't, you know, we got him, we got him from a breeder and he wasn't used to, he was really shy and he wasn't used to coming out and walking around our house. But he slowly started moving faster and faster as he got more used to it and whoops. Oh, he wants to go in our TP. No, is he going in the TP? No. He likes to go in his litter's TP. So we have in our living room. It's a little quiet space. We can go to be alone. He loves that rainbow pillow. So, loves going on that pillow. That's his pillow now. So, he will usually sit on top of it or burrow underneath it or oh now he's trying to dig the carpeting okay which I'm not gonna let him do with his claws if he continues to do it I will move him but you know it's a natural uh, behavior of tortoises and you know he digs in his subtrate that's in his house which is it's like a dirt, but I don't use dirt anymore. I just use, um, I use coconut coir, C-O-I-R, coir, I don't know if pronouncing it right. Um, you can I make it really thick so you can dig in certain places, especially at night to stay warm at night. They need between 60 to 70 degrees and they burrow in there to get warm. And if he doesn't burrow in there at night, I'll make like a little blanket for him. Like I'll just cover him over a little bit of the core and during the day or say like in the summertime if he's hot they also burrow, burrow in there too to keep cool so it's very very ingenious very smart thing that they do so but Sheldon has his spots that he likes to be in and this is one of them has to be in the teepee being underneath things this makes him feel safe there he is Sheldon Sheldon you want to go under or <laughs> on top of you a little there Let's see if I can see him from the other side hey Sheldon what's going on that's me Hi, Bella. I know you just ate another big amount of your vegetables. He's busy trying to digest all that. Yes, Russian tortoises are strict herbivores. And within that, like, you find out what your, your tortoise's favorite vegetable is by, uh, you know, you just learn as time goes by, trial and error. He loves, he will come over pretty quickly for um, Belgian endive. He loves Belgian endive. And he loves, you know, so I don't think they're colorblind because this guy, he picks out, he loves the yellow Russian endive. Then he loves Radicchio, which is a purple color. And it looks like a cat. It looks like a red cabbage, but it's not. And uh, he, you know, picks out. He likes that. And I don't give him any fruit because it's cute. Like there's a lot of video, a lot of um, vlogs with uh, 
tortoise is eating fruit. So I just know about a Rus my Russian tortoise. I don't know about the other tortoises. But it's really, as I researched it, oh, it's not that good. I mean, some people say, oh, once in a while it's okay. But I just don't give him fruit. Um, so whether there's too much sugar in it, maybe they can't, because they, they have a very slow digestive system. Um, maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not a, absolutely sure. I'm not an expert on this. So, And you see the white the white around his shell, if I could point it out right here, that, that, those are his growth lines. So he's, he has grown quite a bit. It's hard for me to tell because I see him every day, but people who haven't seen him every day have said definitely, but now, you know, when I look closer, he definitely has uh, grown quite a bit. And he's not huge, I mean, he's a Russian tortoise. People, when I say I have a tortoise, they go, oh, I get this. 100% of the time. They just think of the, well, of course, the Galapagos tortoises, which are, you know, ginormous, uh, but only are indigenous to the Galapagos Islands, you know. But um, there's a Slicata tortoise. Those are from Africa. Those are the ones that get to be huge, um, you know, upwards of 100 pounds, you know, anywhere north of that. And this, I don't know what their lifespan is. I'm sure it's same as this guy, which lifespan for a healthy Russian tortoise is about 50 years so um, yes you should probably put him in your <laughs> you should put him in a will so, um, yeah, he lives a long time and God willing and um, but over that 50 year lifespan he'll they only get to be about the size of a dinner plate like eight inches but the girls um, are bigger, I heard in general, than the boys. So, you know, they don't grow that fast, in other words. So, and he'll never be huge. So, and he doesn't weigh that much. He weighs under a pound. Or maybe he's a pound at all. But, so he's just hanging out. Like I said, he's eaten two meals already today. I was, out, I was running around, and when I came home, all his food was gone like really gone. He doesn't usually eat it down to the bottom of his slate. So I put a little more down there and gave him a treat. It's in Belgium, but he ate a little more of that. And let's see. Let's see what he uh, has eaten. This is his house that my husband constructed for him from, um, from scratch. And eventually we will construct a bigger one at some point, not any time, you know, this week, next week, next month, you know, but eventually. Uh, those are some plants. I don't usually have any plants in here, but he, um, I planted in some organic topsoil some uh, chia seeds. It's really a project for my daughter and I, but and I asked some people on the Russian Tortoise Facebook page if it's okay for him to have that in his house. It's okay for him to eat, but, but I know him. I know children well, and he is not interested in it. I could dig it into the dirt, make it lower, you know, lower down, but if he really wanted, he would climb. Very creative, very, um, anyway, but he only eats food that's on, directly on his slate. So if I put food over there, he wouldn't eat it up there, no. Nope. If I put it on his heat, under his heat lamp, he wouldn't eat it. No. There's his cute little um, terracotta pot, which, as you see, he likes to bury. The, the coir is uh, deeper down there. He likes to sleep in there sometimes. And it's very cute. <laughs> it's adorable. All you see is his butt sticking out. Um, anyway, and there's a turtle bone that he can chew on. There's a lot of calcium in it. I don't see him chew it much. I also can shave down his, <coughs> excuse me, um, keep his nails trim and his beaks trim by um, rubbing on it. Like almost like an emery board. So, um, <coughs> what else can I say about this? Um, this is uh, to check the temperature. 
he uses to check the temperature. You press it like under his heat light. Should be somewhere north of 90. Yes, it is. And then you should have an area where he can go if he wants to be cooler. So you just click it and yep. So that's good. Uh, what else? What else can I say? Oh, I'm very organized. And uh, I give him a bath in a little, you know, one of these containers. If you're starting out, like you can just get this at ShopRite or any supermarket. And these little, um, yeah, not that I um, am advertising, but you, know, you could buy any brand. One of these. Like 12 quart is good. You just fill it up a little bit, just up to a little bit under his shell because tortoises do not swim. <coughs> Excuse me. Tortoises don't swim. So he could drown. But you just put a little in there, warm, <coughs> and you, you know, test the temperature. And um, anyway, just for like 15, 20 minutes. And um, just to keep them hydrated. And yeah, that's about it. So he's got a little decoration. There's a towel to dry, towel to dry him off with after his bath. And he's pretty much the king here. He is our, our love. And we just enjoy him. He's the sweetest. He doesn't bite. <coughs> I don't even know if tortoises can I've never seen teeth in his mouth when he's the only time I've seen inside his mouth is when he yawns which is just adorable so anyway this is it this is Sheldon Cooper this is Sheldon Cooper's life he's gonna go back in his house in a few minutes and I'm signing off have a wonderful day everybody